the project is uh, YN735, 7 Cruzaro. She's the uh, fourth vessel uh, we've built in the last four or five years for Subsea 7. A set of pipe layer vessels which are uh, bound for Brazil. This ship is bestemd for the offshore oil and gas industry, where the pipeline can plaats op the zeebodem, but also can verwijderen. You've got two companies who specialize in uh, marine projects. Backer, uh, very uh, experienced in the medium voltage, the propulsion plant, the thruster motors, the thruster drives, and also the main generators. Achter deze drijft zit er een kabel richting deze elektromotor. Deze elektromotor drijft hier onder het schip de propeller aan. Ja, Bakker is uh, wel gespecialiseerd in aandrijftechnieken van deze omvang. Dus het variabele aansturen van elektromotoren in de scheepvaart in de maritieme sector. And on the chrome bolter and dross side, we had a lot of knowledge on the uh, 440 distribution side and the capabilities to manufacture the equipment there. And uh, yeah, it was a, a good marrying of resources, both engineering and installation wise. I think having the scope where your overall system integrator, it allows you to look into all systems, offer the client benefits where you're integrating all hardware and providing the automation and software solutions to go with it as well. It's integrating knowledge and equipment from at least three different sources and uh, coming up with one, uh, one intelligent solution. I think uh, obviously the client at the end of the project will get a better uh, product. Well, they came back at least eight times, so <laughs> we must have done something right. So yeah, we, we had a very good working relationship with Subsea 7. Even now with the vessels in the field, uh, we keep in very close contact with the client.